Hey, what's up guys? Today, this abandoned 1996 Jeep Grand Cherokee has a new owner, but after sitting underneath a bunch of trees for nearly five years, it's time to get it cleaned up and looking good again. Now, of course, while that sounds easy, I know from experience it's anything but. Looking at this Jeep, and it's pretty clear the previous owner had some fun with it before it was parked, as it's absolutely caked in mud and straw. And in terms of the trees it was parked under, well, those would be ash trees, as there's an enormous amount of seeds all around the vehicle, and the roof has clearly taken a beating after sitting outside for years. Though you could say the same thing about the interior. Except this wasn't caused by the elements. Looks like the previous owner let a family of raccoons live in here, as it's completely trashed. If I can get this Jeep looking close to brand new again, it will be one heck of a transformation, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stick around because you do not want to miss this one. That must be a pretty epic game you're playing. Don't look at me. Mitch is the one who plays. I'm watching yoga. That's right guys, I'm excited to announce War Thunder as the sponsor of today's video as it's the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made and is available now for free on PC, Mac, Xbox and PlayStation. War Thunder is a large scale multiplayer action game where you can take command of tons of different tanks, planes, helicopters and ships of 10 major nations ranging from biplanes and armored cars of the 1930s to the fighter jets and main battle tanks of today. Now if you guys are like me and have ever wondered what it would be like to go to battle using highly sophisticated military equipment, well then you need to play this game. War Thunder allows you to play the way you want. You can break through the front line in a tank, provide cover for ground vehicles from a chopper, or take to the skies for a good old fashioned dog bite. All vehicles in the game can be upgraded and improved with additional modules, and detail geeks like me will be thrilled to see that they've captured every element of each machine perfectly and in great detail. You can play in a variety of locations like deserts, forests, snow-covered mountains with each map being inspired by real-world locations. The graphics are amazing and they've recently added some advanced military equipment to the game like the famous T-90M and Su-27, the new modification of Abrams Tusk II, the legendary fighter Gripen and the F-15 Eagle. Explosion and fire effects have been completely reworked and you can even play a Volcano Valley map where you can test the latest aircraft in battles among volcanoes. Download War Thunder for free by using the link in the description. All new players and those who haven't played for half a year or more will receive some special bonuses. Rentals for the P40E1 aircraft and M4 tank for a week, along with free unique skins for them, a special decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, three premium vehicles for free, a week of premium account, and even more gifts. Hurry up, the American vehicle bonus season will end soon. Dude, you better get to work. You've got a big job today and I'm not helping. Yeah, I know. Anyways, thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. It's time to get to work on the vehicle now. All right, well, before I start with the pressure washer today, I think it's going to be quite a wise decision to take care of as much of these ash seeds as I can so they don't just all end up in a wet, sloppy mess on my floor here. So I'll grab what I can now and then just blast the rest out. Well, after spraying off a bit of this mud, I can see that it is coming off with relative ease, and I know that because of that, I've seen quite a few comments asking whether I use any sort of pre-wash agent or not, basically something to soak and help loosen up the dirt. And while the answer is almost always no, there have been a few times where I've needed to use all-purpose cleaner and even degreaser as a pre-soak before using the pressure washer, though more often than not, my pressure washer is powerful enough to cut through even the most stuck on dirt.
Now as I spray out the wheel well here, I think it's pretty safe to assume that if these are caked in mud, then so is the underside. So when I get to that in a few minutes, I'll be sure to be extra thorough so I don't miss any mud. Okay, as I work on removing the mud in the front wheel well here, you can probably see just how much is sitting on the floor at this point. So if you were thinking that it must take a bit of work to get that cleaned up too, well, you'd be right. Though I have to say it is incredibly nice to have a huge drain pit like I do, as it can hold an enormous amount of mud, and it only needs to be cleaned out once every year or so. Now, if you're curious about the studio and what else I've got in it, then make sure you check out the studio build series that I did over on the second channel, The Detail Geek 2. Next up, I'll get the whole Jeep covered in some of my Detail Geek Mega Foam, which produces super thick and luxurious foam, which I'll then use with my Detail Brush to agitate in and around all the crevices around the vehicle that my wash mitt wouldn't be able to reach. So if you want to include this step as part of the next detail you do on your own vehicle, then check out everything that DetailGeekAutoCare.com has to offer. Okay, well after the seat bolts put up a little bit of a fight, I did manage to get them out and then remove the front seats, though the second row didn't have to come out today since the bottom portion folds up so easily, but there is one heck of a mess hiding underneath. But before I can get to that, there's still a pile of stuff to deal with in the back and after discovering that the hatch doesn't open, thankfully the rear glass does, although the supports are toast here, but I did find something to prop it open with so I could get this stuff removed without too much trouble.
starting in all this colorful debris here, and I'm not certain what this is, but I do have a pretty good guess based on a previous vehicle that I did. Now, if you guys recall, when I detailed the abandoned 1986 Subaru XT Turbo a few months back, shameless plug for that video if you haven't seen it yet, you really need to watch it. But anyways, there was one of those reusable grocery bags in the back seat that had basically disintegrated into a ton of tiny little pieces. And this red stuff in here looks exactly the same as that. So that's my guess as to what it is. Probably a result of UV rays from the sun beating down on it for years. Here's the driver's side now and you can see once I get all this sucked up there's some pretty gross stains in this carpet so I have definitely got my work cut out for me when I start extracting but based on the age of this vehicle and the fact it's got some pretty decent quality carpet in it I'm hopeful that I can get it looking really good today despite what it looks like right now. Okay guys, time to get to work on these carpets now and if you've ever been curious as to the products and tools I use to transform these vehicles, well almost every one of them is available over at DetailGeekAutoCare.com so make sure you head over there to check things out. But if you happen to run your own detailing business, then I wanted to let you know that we've recently started a wholesale program where you can take advantage of a significant discount to help you guys grow your detailing business. If you're interested, all the info you need is available on the site and it's 100% free to sign up.
Now, as I hit these nasty stains with the drill brush, it does look like I'll be able to get most of it removed. Though, when I come across an area like this one where it's not quite perfect after the first round, I will also hit it again to see if I can get it looking a little better, as I'm just not the type of person to quit early without putting everything I have into something. Here's the absolutely horrifyingly disgusting water pulled from the Jeep today. And because it's so bad, and I mean really, really bad, I figured you guys would enjoy getting to see it make its way down the drain too. This might be the nastiest water dump ever. Moving to the back seat, and the steamer and my leather cleaner should make super quick work of the red staining from the disintegrated disposable bag, though there's no question in my mind that because these older vehicles are made with better quality materials, that's also playing a significant part in the equation here. Now as I get some leather conditioner applied to these seats, I wanted to give you the little bit of background I do have on this vehicle before I finish up this detail. Now I guess the previous owner parked it after it developed a few mechanical issues and then five years later ended up selling it. Only it didn't end up having a whole lot wrong with it and when the new owner had it fixed up with a new battery and a couple other small things in just a matter of a few days, the guy wanted to buy it back. And I'm sure that desire is only going to grow after seeing how good I'm making it look today. Time to get the glass clean and streak free inside and out with my glass cleaner and waffle weave towel, which if you didn't know is the secret to streak free glass in your vehicle or around your house. And honestly, I feel like I need to keep this stuff under lock and key because all my family and friends are always trying to get their hands on it. Of course, I tell them they can find it at detailgeekautocare.com, 
but they'd rather try to get it for free. Well, as I put the finishing touches on reviving this faded trim a bit, I will say that 303 isn't going to fix this problem permanently. It's simply going to temporarily revive it, but boy, does it ever make a big difference. All right guys, well after 10 hours of hard work, the Grand Cherokee here is forgotten no more and it's looking really good for its age. And like I always say, these older vehicles almost always clean up really well. So if you enjoyed watching the transformation on this one, then make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.